The school resource officer who accidentally fired a gun in Pasco County is still being investigated tonight. This happened in the lunch line at Waitman Middle School in Wesley Chapel. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth went to Bill Jackson's gun shop for adventure to find out how a gun holstered could accidentally go off right near students. There are still very few answers to what happened at Wayman Middle School yesterday. He was actually leaning up against a wall, and so the, when the firearm discharged, um, still in the holster, it discharged down to the floor and into a brick wall behind him. How the gun, a Sig Sauer P320 9mm, fired is the big question. Experts will be used to examine the gun and holster. Part of this investigation is going to be breaking down the gun and looking for possible wear and tear, what could have gone wrong. So we have one here. What would you do as you start to break down this gun? That's it. That's it. The basic thing you're looking for is where along the rails, uh, where in the gun, if the gun's tight. Generally, these aren't as tight as some, but you know, if there was significant wear on this, it's immediate recognition. Mark Rulon has worked extensively with this particular gun. All officers with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office are outfitted with this gun and the same holster. So I know I called the Sheriff's Office and they said that all of their guns were upgraded October 2018. There you go. So this gun that was in the office that the officer had was from October 2018. So it's a near new firearm. Uh, the wear is going to be insignificant. This firearm should last with minimal use 20 years. But it's not just the gun. Investigators will also look into the holster and check to see if there were any manufacturer issues. Because the bottom line is, Mark says it's really hard for a gun to fire on its own. In the mechanics of the gun, I can't speculate what might have been the issue. All I can do is say that most guns cannot fire without you pulling the trigger. So interesting, and this SRO is on administrative leave tonight. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office tells us an armorer, a person specifically trained in how to handle a gun, will be involved in this investigation.